Okay, so I'm hearing make better use of the data, follow through to operations, not just design. Let's move on to Bob. We still have time. Yeah. We, <laughs> we do still have time. <laughs> Bob Mankowski is at the helm of Bentley's Open Applications Product Division, driving innovation and excellence in infrastructure design and engineering software. With over 20 years of experience in the water sector, he focuses on delivering cutting edge solutions for infrastructure projects. He's also a licensed professional engineer. So Bob, as SVP of Open Applications here at Bentley, what role do you see software companies play in supporting the utilities and their contractors and engineers? Yeah, well, um, I guess like anyone who wants to support someone else, you first have to really understand what their needs are, right? Like you can't support them if you don't know what they're trying to achieve. So one of the things we do a lot of is listen to them, right? And, and we've been working with Sebest, for example, for over 20 years, listening to what they need and, and evolving our solutions towards the problems they're trying to solve. We want to be part of that solution because when you think about the problems they are trying to solve, when we, when we look at the panelists here and you've heard some of the complexity and scale of the problems they're trying to solve, it really is a, like an ecosystem approach. You know, we all need to be part of this. It's a team sport, as I like to say. So what we do, our role, like we all have the same job. We're trying to create a better quality of life for everyone, but we each played like different roles, right? So as a software provider, the role that we're playing is providing technology to help them solve those problems, right? We're, we're um, things like our open applications. And what we hear a lot is, you know, interoperability is important, right? Open standards. Uh, so we've worked really hard to build like our base infrastructure schema, for example, to, to try to facilitate that uh, interoperability and openness. Um, the recent acquisition of Cesium is another example because we hear how important geospatial data is to the problems they're trying to solve. So we're saying, how, how can we do that, right? Partnering with Google. Um, so ultimately it comes down to, they're trying to solve problems. We're trying to enable them to do that. One of the things you always hear about is um, data-driven decision-making, that kind of stuff, and it really comes back to understanding what are, the decisions you're, what are the decisions you're trying to make and how can we help unlock the insights which help you make those better decisions. So I think that's essentially what my role is, in, or our role is in, in this, you know, trying to solve these problems. Yeah, and then, you know, talking about the problems of utilities and their perspective, what would you say the value is in some of the relationships you have with technology vendors? Uh, several uh, examples here. Uh, let's say uh, we recently uh, went through a privatization at Sabesp. Uh, I led the company through, through the period. And we need to, to rethink about the investment plan, uh, all the investment that should be done. Uh, once Brazil, unfortunately, uh, still lags on, on universalization, we contribute with 2.2 billion people uh, without access to water in a percentage of 40 million people without access to, to water uh, in, a, in a proper way and a little less than 100 million without uh, the sewage coverage. So rethinking the investment plan uh, took us back to, 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 to the desk and, 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 and how can we really tap on, on the challenges of, of having the known, uh, the informal areas, the favelas, Brazilian uh, slums, uh, into our network. And that combines, uh, uh, you, not even the, the mayor know how, how many people live there. So we need to combine satellite images, different types of, of approaches, to, and combine uh, artificial intelligence to point out how many households exist there and to infer how many people live there. So we can really, uh, 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 really uh, plan the investment that is it's coherent with the, the situation that's over there. The same thing on, on the rural area. Uh, Sabes was not responsible for uh, the whole area of the municipality up to the mid of this year when the company was privatized. By the privatization, we shift the contract to be responsible for the whole municipality, and that added rural areas to our uh, scope. And that again comes with the, the, all the challenges of, of serving small uh, 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 areas with, with lesser people, with different technologies, and again, what are the, the surrounding areas? What are the constraints in relation to, to uh, environment? And, and how should we, uh, uh, what's the better approach 
to serve this area. And that again comes the experience of, with, uh, with other companies in other parts of the world. So using that, that knowledge that comes with the support of technology to run models and, and identifying what's the best, what's the suitable solution for those, uh, those areas, even rural or uh, urban non-formal, uh, uh, non informal areas, that's some two challenges to, to point out. And the second one is water scarcity. Uh, when you think about the coastal area of, 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 of the state of Sao Paulo, we are responsible for serving the whole coastal area of the state. And we have a very dense area uh, in the, uh, near Santos. It's a big city uh, where we, have a, uh, uh, we, we rely of, on, on rivers. So we have to, 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 to take a water from, from the rivers and depend on, on the, the, the rain for have the, the, the water availability. Uh, that led us to, to think about what should be uh, uh, an investment that will assure us uh, uh, water availability for the whole period. And that led us to, to design uh, a desalination plan, plant. So uh, basically, those are the solutions and, and the, the, the things that uh, software, data, and, and simulations can help the companies like Sebasp to address uh, uh, problems and challenges that comes not only with the, the growth of the population, but also to meet the targets that we need to meet to serve the people the, in a proper way.